news today about Tynese Morton. What kind of a blow is that to your team? Not really. I mean, as the year went on, she continued to have some setbacks and that. So it was, you know, this time of the year, it was better just go ahead and uh, make the announcement that she was not was going to sit out. Uh, good thing is she has two years left. And so uh, and it gives her plenty of time to rehab and get ready for next year. Have you been treating this season as we're going to plan that we're playing without her up until this point? Beginning of the season, we were planning on playing her and at least having her by conference play. But then as time went on, yeah, we, we, we figured, you know, she would take two steps forward and three backwards. And uh, so we, we figured this was going to be what the conclusion was going to be. How do you kind of like break that to, to the players and like what was their they reaction? Know. They yeah. know. I mean, you know, she. they know. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not like everybody around here didn't know that she wasn't getting better and that uh, this is probably going to be the outcome. So it's it's not a shock to anybody, really not. And obviously for her, it's probably better long term. Yeah, because, you know, everybody, every time somebody would see her, or you, when you coming back, when you doing this, when you're doing that, and and. You know, because of the injury, because of the setback she had, you know, it was not good for her. So now she can just concentrate on getting better, concentrate on rehabbing and being ready for next year. And I'm thinking of when you talk about major injuries, you know, I'm thinking in the past, like, you know, like Meg, uh, Asia. I mean, you've had to deal with, with this kind of circumstance before. I mean, not that that's a good thing necessarily. But no, I mean, that... no, and we've dealt with it all year. I mean, Chris McCune's still not playing. Nia Staples didn't practice yesterday or today. I mean, we just, it, it's just been one of them years. But uh, thank goodness you're allowed to practice guys yeah. or we wouldn't be able to have a practice. So having guy practice players really helped us, especially with a lot of injuries and that. How is Tiny handling it? Is she optimistic about the recovery process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Uh, you know, right now she's on crutches again and, uh, you know, the boot and that type of stuff. But in a couple of weeks, she'll start feeling a little bit better and, and they'll start letting her do a little bit more. And then I think, it, you know, like I said, five, six weeks, hopefully she'll be doing a lot and, and being able to see where she's at. Do you anticipate at the start of next season, she could be ready oh, to Lord, go? It better be. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. yeah, it better happen. No, I do, honestly, I do, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly think I think she'll be going full go uh, middle of the summer. So, yeah, I, I think she'll be ready by the start of the season. You have mentioned that in the past you've had to deal with injuries and, like, how to work around those. Is there something you've learned over the years working with your athletic training staff about how to deal with short-term and long-term injuries over the course of a season? Well, you know, they're the trainers and they're the doctors, and they say when they can go and can't go. Uh, my job is just to get the other players ready and, and not make excuses, and, and we still need to win, And what, no matter who steps on that floor. So, you know, it's a lot of mental, a lot of uh, getting people to understand that they got to step up. And I think Tiana and Shania Ray has really stepped up. And, and then Naomi was a pleasant surprise coming in here, giving us some scoring, take up some of the slack from Tynees. Shifting the conversation, getting ready for Texas Tech. I mean, it's a team that they've also lost their leading scorer and, and lost their coach, and, and, you know, they're kind of a, a struggling team at the moment. Yeah, they they beat Kansas two games ago, so that was their first win in the conference. But I, I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised how big they are. I mean, they're 6'6", 6'5", 6'3". they got a 6'1", three guard. Uh, you know, I watch them on film, man. They're huge. They're huge. And we're not, and it's not really a good matchup. So we're going to have to stay out of foul trouble. We want to put a body on them and keep them off the boards. And I think they'll play us a lot of zone. And so we're going to have to hit some shots over top of the, the big bodies. I think it might be important to get some minutes out of Teresa considering a matchup against that size. Or Love to play Teresa more minutes. Would love. I mean, I you know, I always tell them I don't determine playing time they do. If they go in there and do what I ask them to do and play defense and rebound and box out and, and can run a play, they'll play more minutes. If they don't do that stuff, they won't play a lot of minutes. So, I, yeah, 
Do we need size? Absolutely we do. And it'd be great if she'd come and, and give us those minutes.